In this video, we're going to figure out what the limit is as x approaches pi over 2 of 1 minus sine cubed of x divided by cosine squared of x. We can't just go ahead and plug in x is equal to pi over 2 as cosine squared of pi over 2 is equal to 0 and we're not allowed to divide by 0. So what we're going to have to try to do is rewrite the numerator and the denominator so that we can avoid that. Notice that 1 minus sine cubed of x is equal to 1 cubed minus sine cubed of x because 1 raised to any power is just itself. Now we can factor this using the difference of cubes formula. I'll just write that down here. So a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus b squared plus ab. So let's just take a to be equal to 1 and b to be equal to sine of x. This gives us 1 minus sine of x multiplied by 1 plus sine squared of x plus sine of x. Notice that we can rewrite cosine squared of x using the following identity. Cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is equal to 1. This tells us that cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. And notice that we can actually rewrite this as 1 squared minus sine squared of x. And to factor this, we can use the difference of squares formula. So I'll just write that right here. a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So if we just take a to be equal to 1 and b to be equal to sine of x and plug these values into our formula up there, we have 1 minus sine of x squared is equal to 1 minus sine of x multiplied by 1 plus sine of x. So what we're going to go ahead and do is plug this value into our denominator for cosine squared of x. And we're going to plug this value here into our numerator for 1 minus sine cubed of x. So we have the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of 1 minus sine of x multiplied by 1 plus sine squared of x plus sine of x. divided by 1 minus sine of x multiplied by 1 plus sine of x. Notice that these two cancel each other out and we're just left with the limit as x approaches pi over 2 of 1 plus sine squared of x plus sine of x divided by 1 plus sine of x. Now at this point what we can go ahead and do is just plug in x is equal to pi over 2 because we're no longer divided by 0. So we have the 1 plus sine squared of pi over 2 plus sine of pi over 2 divided by 1 plus sine pi over 2. Sine pi over 2 is just equal to 1 so we're left with 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. And this is just equal to 3 over 2. And that's the final answer to this problem. Notice that you could actually solve this problem using El Hopital rule. But if you weren't allowed to use El Hopital rule, this is a good method to solve this limit. If you found this content useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.